Hi boys and girls. This craft is for Sunday, December 5th. If you haven't watched your lesson from Mrs. Hart yet, stop now and go back and do that. Okay, our craft today is from Eglo.com. So if you didn't get a packet, you can go to this website and find the printout that I used. Okay, you're going to need scissors, crayons, and tape today. And today, Mrs. Hart's lesson was all about the wise men finding Jesus and the gifts that they gave to him. Now, if you remember, how did they find Jesus? A star guided them. So you can see that we have a star with a Bible verse on it. It says, when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Okay, so we're going to make this star, and we've got some goodies in our bag today. So we've got a glow stick, we have some glitter glue, you might have gold or silver, and we have some really cool stick-on gems. We're going to really fancy this star up. Now you can see that I have already colored my star yellow. So take a minute and stop and go ahead and do that. If you want yours to be a different color, that's fine, but I thought it would be nice and bright. Now, don't color anything dark over the Bible verse because we need that, don't we? Okay, after you're done coloring, you're going to cut out your star. And you'll notice the paper is a little bit more stiff than you might have on another project. That's okay, and you'll see why in a minute because we need it to be nice stand up nice and straight when we put our glow stick on it. Okay, I'm almost done cutting out. Take your time, cut on the lines, because your star is going to be beautiful. All right, now it's gonna come the fun part. Now you get to use all these awesome little stickers and you can put them again don't put them on your um, words because you want to be able to see your words okay boys and girls and I'm just going to put some you can put them wherever you want there's lots of space you can use as many as you would like I'm not going to put a lot on because right now oh a bunch of mine came off together I'm going to use them all together Ooh, look at that. This is mine. Now you can put on as many as you want, but go ahead and decorate. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is use my glitter glue. Again, don't cover up your Bible verse. We wanna be able to show everyone our Bible verse. So take that off, and then you're probably gonna to need to let this dry a little bit. I'm outlining my star with it. You don't have to do this. You can use your glitter glue however you would like to. If you have two or more children in your family, you probably got more than one glitter glue. You might have gotten a gold and a silver. So you can share. Share with your brothers and sisters, okay? Now, this really should dry for a while before you do your next step. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like. But because we're taping this for you boys and girls, I can't really let it dry right now. So I'm gonna be very careful. Oh, this time I remembered to make my tape. Cut it off ahead of time. All right, I'm going to take my glue stick if you want. You can break it so it's going to glow for you. Okay. And then very carefully, 
pick up your star and you're going to tape your glow stick on the back so that you can hold it, okay? There we go. Now, now you have the star of Bethlehem that guided the wise men. You can see my little piece of tape was too big, but I can't cut it off right now because this is pretty wet. But you know, I want you to be able to get the idea. Okay, boys and girls, take a picture and show me how great your star came out and post it on our uh, Sunday School website. Have a wonderful Christmas, and I will be coming around next week. Mrs. Hart's going to do a story, and we have a little something for you from the Sunday School, and I will be delivering it to you then. So have a great week. Bye-bye.